Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Nobody spoke. I was waiting for you to speak, so I would know you were here. I know. I was starting to wonder. Oh, but you didn't say anything. Anyway, good morning. Uh, let me see here. Um, good morning, everybody. And then another call for someone to say something, so I would drop out of that one. What is today? The 20th, right? First. Uh, so there are a um, few issues here. Um, we said last time we wouldn't fix these two. Uh, this one on freshness details, I'm just going to put that up while we, I hope we're going to get, Hank is going to join us because he's the freshness expert. We're just recovering in Ottawa. We still have like a thousand people without electricity. Um, we had something like uh, 150,000 homes, no electricity for a week due to a windstorm a week ago, 10 days ago. Completely insane. I didn't lose any power or internet. Because of a lot of downlines falling trees yeah downlines plus um uh like i think some people there was like three or four three like their transformer blew up and uh, a tree took out the distribution network and a tree took out their local network and <laughs> so um yeah we had you look on you look on the internet there's like dozens of photos of you know these 200 foot tall you know pylons that have just crumpled um it's like out of a stephen uh uh what is it tommy knockers or something there was a stephen king film with uh uh where the power lines crumpled or something like that anyway hank we see your monkeys but not your person Yes, uh, I. <laughs> this better. Oh, well, my monkeys fell over. So, you know the three-headed monkeys. I hope. No. Uh, the the Cerberus, Cerberus, Cerberus monkeys. Kerberos not monkeys. No. They're not here. Um, oh, sorry. Okay, so um, I was looking through the issues yesterday. Um and trying to uh figure out if there's anything i could suggest text for um and 
uh, I actually came up empty myself. So we'd already said we, we wouldn't. And I answered uh, these two by email uh, last week with uh, 16 that I posted in the afternoon. Um, and so I don't know if there's really anything that I, I think what we need to do is we need to just go through these comments and agree as a group that either we're not going to solve them or we need to come up with some proposal what we're going to do. Um, I, I think that, so, um, I, I think that this is, this part, this part is the part that uh, I'm, I don't have an answer to this. Um, I do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the, the the freshness section has three examples of how you could solve freshness, right? Right. Um, the other uh, roles or architecture diagrams are things that are inherent in attestation that you either uh, that you always have, although they may be combined with other roles in any particular implementation, but they're always there. Epic right. ID distributor is something that's not in that category. This is an example of something how to do it, and so this is sort of an ancillary information, which is why it's in an appendix. Yeah. Right. The, the goal of the appendix was to tease out, are there actually any architectural requirements that need to be incorporated into the main architecture? And this is showing that uh, the, part of the appendix right now is saying, hey, here's three ways to get freshness that don't change the earlier stuff, uh, that, which you could use any of these or even you know, a fourth one to build a solution out of. Right. So, I, so I, there's three I, typical ones that uh, you might want to reuse one of these. And if you do, then here's some considerations you want to use when building your actual solution. I think that's how I understand the purpose of the appendix right now. Well, I, I, I'm very much in agreement with you. And, and if you were to depict, if I were to depict the Epoch ID distributor in one of the other diagrams, I would say I want to go into the third dimension and I want to put it above all of the other items mm -hmm. such that it rains yeah. down the Epoch IDs to everybody. Um, and so that's why it doesn't fit in very well. And as you say, it's optional, right? And the yeah, reason anything, why you could add a diagram into the appendix that shows it, the appendix section that talks about the Epic ID distributor. If you had to have it a diagram, that's we'd put the diagram as into the section of the appendix. So. Well, that, that one 16.3 has an epoch ID distributor in the diagram. Ah, okay, great. So then the statement is just so false. I am very confused by all well, of this. Well, uh, maybe we okay. just need a forward yeah. reference to it, uh, maybe. I'm with you, Hank. Uh, I, I see it now, and you're right. It is uh, right there. Is it in a diagram, Epic ID distributor? This one? This diagram? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's in the that's time sequence great. diagram. I think the question is. And, and Michael, you repaired it. <laughs> like, like optically. <laughs> I don't know. So from the oh, get blame okay. point of view, um, so um, oh, I've yeah. Prepared. So so no, I was thinking that yeah, it doesn't um, belong up there. It, 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 no, no. So so the point I'm trying to say is, well, I don't know if it belongs. What uh, you're, you're thinking about the reference diagram in Figure One? Yeah. So so I was thinking that that we could repeat this diagram in the appendix with the uh, epoch epoch I, in the epoch section with the epoch um distributor uh in the diagram maybe i don't know if you can see my mouse but uh yeah. i would put it sort of down here with an arrow towards r all three and uh, um you could um any way you draw the diagram would be uh wrong in some implementation of course of course this uh, is, so this for is example the... for example <laughs> what i mean is you could have two epic id distributors one that distributes IDs to a tester and verifier, and a different one that distributes IDs to verify and relying party, and they're you know ships in the night, right? That would be valid. Yeah, that's too, true. Right? That's true. And so that's why any way you draw the diagram will be uh, wrong. Excellent point. Excellent point. So there's one overlapping uh, entity that would know both and would relate the freshness, and as a verifier, that would be a okay thing to do. Yes. It, yeah, and again, I'm not saying I would implement it that way, but you could, and it would oh, be it would perfectly fine. Want. Data yeah. diodes and nuclear plants want to do it that way, and so yeah. yeah. I think if you just cloud the examples with more and more stuff, it's going to be harder to read. The original content, uh, comment really is, uh, "Hey, are, are these like examples or whatever?" You know. Uh, so, uh, I guess a, an objective question would be: Is it plainly apparent that 
all of this is just a for instance, and you know that you're not constrained by these choices in any way. And if that's not the case, maybe the solution is to just make it so clear that that that's what these uh, things are, that no one's going to beat them to death. Because uh, I think no matter how you yeah, right there. So we ha we also could point to DAA as an example of a um, you know. Uh, a role that wasn't in the original ar architecture document that's still valid to talk about. Michael's highlighting yeah, so the sentence, just... but also the phrase right before the part that's highlighted that goes together. Yeah. So if you wanted to hit them in their face a little bit harder, right after that where you have highlighted, you could say that these examples don't constrain, you know, the architectural choices. They're really just to illustrate. Right. Because it sounds like the comment really comes from uh, a belief that maybe that the example is more than what it is. I don't know. I sort of feel like the second sentence of the paragraph there is the one that was uh, added to the first sentence after the same discussion happened. And the second yeah, sentence, I, I, think I agree. The, word, the word and adding is a third there. sentence or a fourth sentence. So, yeah. I, so I the reason when you read it, it, it's like hard to to imagine that they didn't read it. But again, my experience with readers is that they don't read. Uh, so, so the, the reason the reason everything. why the reason why I you know uh, why I why I wanted why I agree that this time considerations belonged here well there's two reasons but one of them is that it became obvious to me that if you're implementing and you haven't thought about freshness that you will come up with a with some stuff that suddenly you if when you want to add freshness to it you suddenly discover you have to add a round trip which you hadn't uh, a thought of before. And the round trip may in fact be in a, in a, in a place or does a, a way that, um, you know, violates privacy or something else. And so you have to think about freshness at the very beginning of the process. And here we've thought about freshness in some detail um, so that you won't go and do something less well thought out um, and that's why we put it in the in this architecture as an appendix, as a you know here are three thought out three well thought out examples of how to do it. And if you have another one, of course, do that. But you better you know know what you're doing, right? Um, and that's why you know we did this, and we all but we also you know we didn't explain how to use TLS, right? Because other people did that. We you know. I mean, just in general, how to use TLS, right? We, just, we didn't explain how to use certificates. Yeah, we didn't explain a whole bunch of other things because there's other good documents, but there's no other good abstract. And this is still very abstract, this section. It doesn't you know, tell you anything about formats or the epoch IDs or really how they travel or you know what you can do or you know how the timestamps do or the nonces or whatever. So anyway, so the question is, are there any, you know, uh, uh, are there any other responses here, uh, uh, there? And here, the DAA introduces a role. Do you, should we reference that in, no, informatively? No, because we we can we can have drafts that that haven't been written yet that go into more detail about about a lots of things, including. Including the use of epoch IDs, right? I, I, all I'm trying to say is that you know, like, is it useful for us to foreshadow or something in the appendix or anything? I think, I, I'm okay to uh, close I, I this. Thought as, Peter, I thought Peter was on the right track, which is just make it clear that the, if it's not in here, doesn't mean it doesn't exist, and it's you know not correct or it's not yeah. part of. Just as Simon said, it doesn't constrain you in any way. That this, these are just to inform. And I agree with the comment that, you know, freshness is like hugely important. I mean, there's other topics that we don't talk about, like ordering and stuff like that, that are uh, important um, as well. And, and you know, we I don't know that we where we go. And you know, I think last week I was talking about not going down the path of adding a whole lot more to the document. We're trying to close it out. Yeah, those right, so, two things I would probably do is I would probably take that first full paragraph uh, and use that in an email response to the question. Mm -hmm. It says, in the past, we'd edit the second sentence because this question was asked before. Uh, 
how do you want us to say it? It seems like it's clear to us. The other thing that I would do is on the, the uh, comment up above, if you, uh, once you're ready, scroll up to where you can see the point three. There. An attendee, a tester is shown as consuming attestation results, shows relying party producing evidence. That's exactly the same as the other issue that we said won't fix, um, where it's the intermediary that caches or relay stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, that's one where um, it should be clear in context if you've understood the previous section. If you don't understand the previous section and you ask the comment that we said we weren't going to fix, then this section, if you look at it, it doesn't repeat the sentence. And so we could actually repeat a sentence in there. Um, I don't know if we need to, but if, if other people thought it would be useful, then I would be fine adding it. So if you go to like example five, and you can see where evidence goes through the relying party, and it's exactly the same as the uh, as the uh, background check picture we talked about last time. Uh, but the text below it doesn't repeat that sentence we had up above, and so if anything, we could uh, repeat the sentence down here. So down uh, here, you think we could repeat a sentence from um, from where way we up have the there check about? Model. I don't remember what the sentence was, but I remember we yeah, went yeah, over it last I time. Just looking here um, 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 um okay in this model the attest yeah that one conveys the evidence to relying party which treats it as opaque and simply verify it. yeah that 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 sentence right there the, the yep that one so i can imagine repeating that one down there just to make it clear that they're not consuming anything Do you want me to literally repeat the sentence? And I think. Well, I don't know what you need in this model, but uh, the rest of it, yes. So I'm going to put it right at here, right after the above. I think uh, the verifier. no, right, but because it's before the verifier can check whether the evidence is fresh. Let me just see if it goes above it. Let's see. No, Let's so the nonce is generated. Vanguard needs to send one to an attester. That's it. Um, Um, I, I don't know, it breaks up the flow too much, but it, if it was added, I might um, uh, put it in the first paragraph somewhere, meaning the one before the diagram, not after. Okay. Uh, so up here, after this word, uh, or the... Maybe Maybe in between these two sentences. The attester conveys evidence to a relying party or to the relying party, which treats it as opaque and simply forwards it on to the verifier. Let me, you want me to put that up as a pull request right in the way uh, here? Sure. Then we can see whether it actually flows or not. So. That's architecture. Um, so are you writing into an issue right now? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm writing in my editor, and I'm just about to oh, make it an issue. Just a second here. um section five just point. A minute, but, but before you get too far if you go back to example four in the previous section it has the same thing and we should probably do it only on the first use so maybe we should do it in section four um and put it at the end of the paragraph right before the diagram is in, in the example four Okay. As long as they read them in chronological order, it's either, you know in sequential order. It's on the same page as example five, so you don't need to repeat it in example five. I think. Right, well, you're working on that. I'm looking for some place in sixteen point one to put the equivalent for the passport model uh, sentence. 
for that, which I would probably do in the same pull request, but let me just see. Okay. Spot. Uh, ignore this. I just unfolded a sentence when I did the first edit. So I've added this sentence here. Um, I think that's okay. What do others think as far as the flow? Does it does it still make sense with the words in that order or does it need any wordsmithing to make it make more sense? We could yeah, repeat really the same it. sentence for example five. You, you could. Uh, we will want to do something, assuming we, we accept this and think this is a good idea to add, then we'll want to do the same thing in section 6.1 with the passport sentences. Section six point sorry sixteen point one the, the, it's the, just the attestation is uh, the same way you mean um there's a there, we already have a sentence back there about passport because this is one where the attest yeah the attestation result is you know cached by an a, we talked about this one last time too as opposed to the attestation yeah. result is not consumed by the assessor yeah we can have a complementary sentence yeah. exactly here for that purpose yeah. that you okay. And so, I, I spoke with Eric about the caching of evidence, and he was like, sure, why not? But treat the Debbie Dragons, you know, freshness will be hard. <laughs> but you could cache evidence for an indefinite amount of time, uh, dealing with a interesting challenge, uh, how to establish freshness uh, notions. But possible it is, yes. Um, so to save you from scrolling, Michael, here is the sentence that appeared back in 5.1 about passport model. Okay, I was um, just looking for that in my text editor here. And where is an appropriate point to paste that sentence? Uh, the attester does not consume the attestation result, but might cache it. Yeah, I'm looking to see where in the flow it mentions attestation result, okay. I would say after this, this uh, between the second and third paragraphs, um, the one right before the right in here, that, right yes, after that, this sentence. I agree. It, whether it, it, I don't know which paragraph it becomes part of, but I, I agree that in, in between. I'm those just would set it as a separate paragraph of one sentence, and I'm just repeating okay. exactly what was in okay. the previous, exactly what was what was up in section five dot whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I agree. Section is this five point one. Okay, so that's all that's happened here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And so we do the first of the passport examples and the first of the background check examples. I think that's fine. It doesn't make the document too much longer. And it already and it reuses text we already have working group and census on just in the other section. So Anything else we think we need to deal with here in this 411? I didn't see anything else. Everything else to me looked like an email response. That's the only thing that I would, the one that I just brought up was the only one I could see warrants any benefit of text changes. Anyone else? I don't know what to do with this. I guess I'll just assign it. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. So.
didn't close. Interesting. All right. You can't put it as the comment. You can put it as the first one. That's fine because I actually want it. Uh, uh, remind myself. Okay. All right. So um, editorial comments. So I, uh, I puzzled through this one. Um, and yesterday, actually, I... I went to find uh, RFC 4949 section 2.6, and this is the this is the the text from 4949, and uh, I'm confused because I think we're doing exactly what 4949 says we're supposed to do. Um, so, well, if anything, I agree that cut and paste that text. Uh, I mean, I'm not I'm not actually really fond of the compare blah 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 in 4949 but it's what it tells us we're supposed to do so um if the semantics are being taken please explain that well i don't know like so it says to use C if it's very closely related and compare if it's intentionally different, right? That, that's what the text you quoted, that you right. quoted says, right? Um, so here is questions, what does compare mean? Um, and you would quote it down below, some entries contain a remark of the forum compare where it X is a list of terms that are either antonyms or differ in some other manner worth noting. Um, and you're arguing that we're using it in exactly the same sense. Uh, looks like Roman is saying, well, can you say more about how it differs? And I think you're saying, well, 4949 doesn't. I thought Roman was saying that he wanted to see a, a C reference to RFC 7519. So maybe adding adding a CRC seventy five nineteen. Well, seventy nine. Which term? Uh, seventy five. It's a reference to JWT. You could add CWT as well. So he said, I think seventy nine five nineteen is is what is quoted in the document right now, right? Five nineteen. For the definition of claim. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think he's taking he's an exception to the, he's the use of compare. Yeah. I think I think he's taking an exception to the the way that it reads and that it's that it doesn't parse in English. And so uh, I think the solution to his comment is to make sure that it parses properly in English. And don't worry so much about what it says in the reference. Because the reference is there, the compare is there. Well, I mean let's 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 just critique the, the sentence itself. His point, his Fair point wording team. was, isn't a claim here, in fact, similar to the one in JWT? The answer is yes. We didn't reference 7519. Yes, we did. Here. We reference it, but not right in, in line so, with the compare. So you can argue that 4949 instructed us to use poor English, and we did. And so we should fix that. So we could insert the word to, compare to claim in blah, blah, blah. I think that fixes the the English, uh, but violates what 4949 well, told us. So I'm okay with- 4949 uses compare colon. Ah, so we should put the colon in? Sure. <laughs> I mean, that's not gonna read any better in English. No, uh, but well, what if that's, compare that's, to? That's, we're just following the precedent. So right now we're not exactly following the precedent. And so if you put a colon in, it's not supposed to read as a sentence, right? Okay, so. I mean, I'm you okay want with other to say compare with a like colon, or do you just... want to say compare to? Um, I would prefer compare colon only because it's defensible to say we're just following the 49-49 precedent. 
but um, I don't feel super strong. I mean, I guess I would, you know, kind of leave this up to the RFC editor to tell us we did it wrong here. But um. so, so if you're reading this document and you have not read RFC 4949, what sense can you make of this sentence in the in this document? Well, I would say none. Right. Right. At which point, I, I you, you would either go and read. 49.49, or you would just say, I don't need to know this. Yeah, one of those so, two. So, uh, it is a I, reference I, I that says, if you want to avoid being it, confused by reading other things, and go and look up the definition of 49.49, yeah. so that if you see this term in some other context, you know that you know what the difference is. I, so I think the solution here is to say something right before it, to say that, what are we doing, and then, then say it is a compare as in the, the, ref, in the reference here. All right, so 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 it uh, this, again, the objection is to that person who has not read that and is reading this document and is stopped in this track saying, "I understand English, but I don't understand what this sentence in this document means." So well, I would argue that not, it's nothing that it's grammatically correct as it was before, right? It's phrased as an imperative, and it's correct grammar. There's nothing incorrect about it in the, in the old stuff. I, I'm fine with matching the precedent or wording it or whatever. I just don't think there's anything wrong with the way it was before. So I, yeah, well, I think uh, the problem here is that this compare and see and, and Roman, I don't know why, re re refuses to tell us this is not enough context why you should look at this. Why the relying part in 9494 is in, is in any way interesting here. So I think whenever 4949 uses it, this, w would you have the same comment on 4949? No. No, I think it's a nonsensical argument, but what I think is what our woman wants us to do is to reason, and I think the reasoning has to be in written words, what is of interest there? It, the, 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 the pointer is too abstract, no. and, and I think that's his problem. Uh, there, there, there's no syntactical content problem here. We have to pull over the part or the, the, the meaning, at least, from RC 4949 that's interesting and we should have to look at. I think well, that's all there is. Again. Um, the syntax is the same as it is in 49.49. Wouldn't you have exactly the same comment when reading 49.49 whenever it uses the word compare? So like oh. on the screen where it says reliability. Yeah. Compare availability but, and survivability. What do you mean? W why is it compare? Um, what's the difference? I mean, why wouldn't you have exactly the same comment here? That's not the precedent. I mean, it seems like Roman doesn't like 49.49. Okay. Uh, yeah, 49.49 is a pretty move. difficult document in many ways, but... But it's also a great document in many ways. So, um, um, saying if we do it exactly the same way as 4949, I'm saying it's defensible. It's a, it's uh, you can still yeah. pick on it, but the defense is well, we're just doing exactly what 4949 did, and that's an RFC. Are there any errata filed mm -hmm. against 4949 that say this should be no. held for a document update? No. It's a dangerous kind of mode going forward in any document to just basically say, hey, all RFCs that came before just because it passed muster from the current reviewers is, is the way to do it. And so uh, I think the comment really is about the idea that you can't read it and make any understanding of it. And so I, I'm not sure exactly what the fix is, but it, I, I think it's to make the compare sentence longer. <laughs> Not just put a colon. The colon doesn't fix yeah. the problem. It's not. Yeah, if you think you can do it in a way that, because uh, remember, you know, you and I were arguing minimal changes or whatever. If you can suggest text that wouldn't have to reset working group consensus, then please do. So, so we can remove it. We can change punctuation, or we can extend additional words with meaning that would make reset consensus. So, so you so tell me what, let, you, what you suggest. So let's just let's just compare relying party from mm -hmm. 4949 and what we write, right? So right, right. here it says it's a synonym for certificate user, which uh, I would agree it's compare because we're, our term relying party is really nothing to do with the, with the it's not a, a certificate user. It's not a synonym for certificate user. It's something much more complicated. It's an attestation um, result user. Yeah, and, 
And so we're saying that when we say relying party, we don't mean the same thing as certificate user, right? right? We need what we right. just said, okay? So please don't be confused with the 4949 term is what we're trying to say when we say compare, okay? Um, yeah, I that's, yeah, I think that is, that is now getting to the heart of the problem as Peter uh, indicated. Because when you, when you read compare just as a English speaker, you're basically saying compare A to B, and you're you're not really getting. It. So you're saying compare this document. It doesn't really say differentiate from the use in this other document. Um, it, 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 I, I think what we want, if you want to say it's not the same as relying party, you can basically say it's you know note that this is different than. Uh, as defined in in the reference. So yeah, and and, and, like and, this, and often is a certificate user. Uh, that is true, in fact, today, and even in rats because it would rely on the uh, certificate of the verifier. But um, but it's more. So we build on this. So it is an extension to the definition, and it is not exclusive to certificate user anymore. And I think that that has to be put in text. That uh, does that ring well. I, I think that that's the right idea because that, that's that's what the point of the compare statement is. That's why it's there. And so the 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 syntax of the compare is not really the issue. It's just what is it? What is the information that's trying to convey? And we can make it easier on the reader by just saying what what uh, Hank just said. What do you think of this of this paragraph at the top here? Oh, on, sorry, I got to look closer. Uh, I, I yeah, sorry, I could make that bigger maybe by doing this. I think that we're calling out the fact that this terms are different than in forty nine forty nine. Don't blindly go ahead with your forty nine forty nine definition when reading this document because, you know. That's fine, but I would move it up before the roles subheading. But otherwise, read's fine to me. So the, <clears throat> the intro line doesn't make sense now. This document uses the following terms, and then we have this disclaimer about 4949. So like that? Yeah. Okay. Want a colon or not? No. No, I think it's fine. And I think Ned's right. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, he never liked this. But from the very first review, he somehow rubbed with this statement and we were not able to capture what uh uh, as we capture a, a, a resolution, I think this is going into the right direction. Uh, Michael, at, at, in the middle line there where you say they are noted with references, can you say they are noted below with references? Make it clear that we're not talking about they're noted in 4949 with references? Okay, yep. I think section has to be capitalized. Those are the first S in section, which is in the fourth line. Uh, yep. So, so this fix definitely tells the reader what to expect and gives them a, a means of solving yeah. it. So problem solved in that sense. Problem not solved in the sense that it forces them to go to the other definition and to reason about what the difference is rather than us telling them what that difference is. And so it's more work to do the latter, and the group should decide whether we do that or not. Um, but there'll be no misunderstanding if we do do it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I suspect that's that uh, trying to point out what the differences are may be a source of contention in some cases uh, about what the other term means, right? Not about what the uh, one the rats are connected uh, on. Right? I, I agree. It, it's more work, and it, it, it is against my general philosophy of let's close this document out. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but but if we really think it's a problem, so I, I think you just throw it to the group. Yeah. Do, what do we think? Should Is it enough? to go with this fix and leave it to the reader to follow the reference and say, 
yeah, it is different. I understand what they're saying, and it's different what they said. Or is it important to have the no misunderstandings and to have us decide what that difference is? So I, even if we just take the example that Michael had up on the screen about uh, the definition of relying party, um, I think any comments about the 4949 version is uh, fraught with uh, rat holes. Um, because you get into discussions of what's a certificate and what's a user, and none of those are central to the point of uh, of what we're trying to talk about in the RATS document. So I think that argument may be persuasive. That, so. Right. So, okay, uh, I'll yield because I, I think I'll vote with you given that. Our, our, our right. point is please, please. Um, suspend your 4949 definitions <laughs> when you read this document. Exactly. They just, just, it doesn't matter what they say, they don't apply. That's what we're trying to say is that just stop thinking 4949 when you read this document. And um, that's, uh, so you only... know, we just don't have another term. If we had another term other than relying party that was useful and that the rest of the industry used, we would have used it, but we don't. So I'm we're overloading. Huh? Unlearn you must. Unlearn you must. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, so only only verifier and relying party are reused in forty nine forty nine. The other two roles are original. Yeah. And, and in both, so yes. Yeah, in both so, cases. I think we, I think we both checked cases. and we did it originally. We said, "Gosh, we're we're surprised that it wasn't used." So. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think what we just said uh, is true for both verifier and relying party. In the case, in, which is that we're we're not we're not changing those definitions; we're building on top of them. In the case of relying party, the the component, you know, the thing that comes up most often in my experience is that the relying party is more than just what we describe as the role that, as it pertains to processing of attestation information, a relying party has application specific duties that it performs that are out of scope for this document. And I and I think that's the only right. place where we might have some issues in terms of the reader not understanding what we mean by relying party. Yeah, well, there's one uh, application uh, specific task that is consuming the station results. So uh, that's very specific. Um, and you. Well, if the reference says relying party is a, just a certificate user, it's so much more than that. And in fact, it doesn't even have to be a certificate user. Right. Right. You can certainly think of use cases where there are not certificates involved and, you know, relying parties deal directly with evidence that's uh, put to them and make their own decisions. Uh, so so that, that that's a tough one because then the relying party collapses with the verifier as we already established. Right, exactly. So, um, so, I mean, that's one of the things that makes writing about these kind of architectures so hard. There's no one right way to do it. Right. You yeah. have, you, there's so many ways to put these these things together to make a uh, measurement and attestation system. So you know, I, whatever, you know, I have this vision that in 10 years, you know, we'll have only five different kinds and we'll be able to describe them as, you know, banana, apple, you know, some other abstraction thing that there'll be five of them. And if I say that it's a it's a, a grapefruit. Uh, attestation system that everyone will know what it is at that point. I, I think you're right about that. There'll be a few it, number of them, but but at, you know, at that point you still will have variation in the actions you take at a relying party and how you interpret. Of it. course, you, know, if you think yeah. of, you think of attestation as a statement of health. There's different reasons to have different health, and I don't think we'll have a tougher time enumerating what those are uh, in those side. But as far as the mechanisms, I think the industry will settle out which ones work in the context of the kinds of things it's doing. And you yeah. know, end of story. Okay, so first, are there objections to the text that? Sorry, that that this changes. Uh, uh, maybe it's insufficient a, for you, but are there objections? That there is a uh, wording tweak I just posted. I hope uh, to this issue. Yes, I. There you go. Okay. And that's only because the. we use it once, pointing to yeah. seventy-five nineteen. And with this change, then it applies fine. Okay. Oh, good. I have some. 
uh, some some dirt on my screen that turned reference into uh, reference with an H rather than an N, but it was dirt on my screen. Okay, all right, so let's merge this. That got closed. Um, I'm gonna close that for now. Uh, repeat that. Maybe I can close this and this and issues. Okay, so the last one is topological patterns. What did he write? Okay, so I think we've dealt with this. We added some sentences to it already. Uh, I'm just not convinced we've dealt with all of the comments there. Like we added some comments about the diagrams last time. And I just want to be sure that we're really done with this. And those diagram, those diagrams, I think, are the ones that we just put in sentences on, right? Copied sentences. We we also we 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 uh, we found that we already had sentences on them. Yeah. Okay. And so my email pointed out that we already said that, and you just didn't read the text. Okay. Th these um, are not the sentences in the appendix. That they're not the. And and we copy yet. those some of those sentences to the appendix now. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. Um. So I think this is yeah. truly dead, but. Yep. Um. I feel it's nebulous I enough agree. that I want to ask the question in the last nine minutes before we go. I agree with you. We did this and I opened it again. Uh, uh, maybe it was something what Ned I, said. I think the other thing that we can do in this issue here is just also link the pull request we just did into it. Right now it links one of the pull requests, but we just did another one that should be linked into here too. Uh, it's the freshness details one, I think. Um, this part. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, or fifteen. Or fifteen. Okay. Okay, any other thoughts? I think I'll close it. What is the resolution? Uh, that be resolved. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, so the, the problem here, okay, that's gone. Okay, yeah, uh, the resolution is that we assume this is dealt with, and we probably have to go through another round. He has to highlight in a more uh, illustrative way what what is what an actual problem is with it. So, so the question, the remaining question was, what does an implementer take away from this? And I would say the whole guiding principle of this. So that's a relatively blunt answer. So I, I, I don't think that's the problem. And so I don't really follow. So, so I would next thing I would ask is like, if you're an implementer, Roman, what do you? What, why do you think this is confusing? What what makes you confused about this in in the implementer's point of view? And and because I would just guess what the problem is. I interpreted this to mean that I interpreted Roman statements as the 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 prince the, the we didn't clearly state the principle that regardless of what the topology is the flow of the flow of information uh, as stated in figure one continues to be true. Ultimately, uh, uh, whatever detour it takes, you mean? Yeah, I'll be. Topo I'll be. The point is that there can be lots of different topo topologies. And lots of different, you know, role, role combinations, role, role entity combinations, but n none of those machinations changes the the fundamentals of the figure one. Yeah, and changes the fundamental definitions of the roles, which say, uh, and if Dave Dave made that very clear at the very beginning of this restructuring, yeah. Um, that every role is specifically consumes and produces specific conceptual messages. 
And that never changes, yeah. whatever the examples are, whatever the compositions are. In the end, yeah. the statistical result will arrive at the relying party and will be consumed then. Yeah. Not earlier, not, yeah. not, not, not uh, later. So, so here, here's a question. You know, the complication really comes when you start talking about combining roles with each other and putting them away in, wa in ways that don't look just like the diagrams we, we've done. Have we done a good job saying that that kind of thing is architecturally possible? But don't get yes. hung up with that because – so, so so we all feel that that, that that is true. I think so. So, so, so. then it, 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 if that's the case, and that, that's – Kind of what our, our responses need to be is that you know there is a complication in architecturally, and when you go to implement this, what you really need to do is think about where these roles are and what the issues are of the roles. And, and you know, furthermore, we, what we might want to say is that combining them in certain ways brings about other issues that we may not have written about, and you really need to think about what happens when they're not distinct entities. Well, we have a whole section 5.3 on combinations as an example of one of the places we mm -hmm. talk about. Oh, sorry, that's not the right section. That that that's uh, combining models, not combining roles. That's not the place I'm thinking of. There is a place, so place. Section six talks about roles and entities. It's three paragraph, four paragraphs. Uh, yeah, that's it. The word is aggregate and not come on. Yeah, so yeah, this is the right place. Thanks, Ned. So, those paragraphs. So if you want to add something to the text to make it clear about that, then this, this looks like the place that we would do that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, would... I agree. I don't think it's needed, but if you do, I agree this is the place for it. So. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think it's needed, but I, I think that, that when you read the document, you should come away with the idea that you are not constrained as an implementer to use this architecture exactly the way we've described it in our examples, right? And that uh, there's a lot of variability that can be achieved to meet use cases. But when you do uh, this, you need to think about all the issues, right? And that, that's, that's, that's kind of like a warning, an architectural warning, that, you know, all of them are not created equal as far as things like, can you get a trusted result out of them? If we were going to have a one or two sentence disclaimer for topological patterns not affecting roles, this would be the section to put it in. I think so. But I think the section adequately you know, cautions the reader that, that we're not trying to define all possible combinations of roles and entities but we, it doesn't. It seems to be silent, silent on the impact of topological patterns. But, but it's yeah. Sort of, this I, I is, think this it would be is, a good idea to have a warning that you know don't just do it willy nilly. Think about it. Yeah, the yeah. Different combinations brings about issues that are beyond the scope of this paper to, the, yeah. to discuss. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe write a document about it. I, I know that can't go into the text. I'm just kidding. But, uh, but I assume that other solutions that might be more complicated would, and there are others uh, already out there in the uh, working group related thing, or even adopted thing. And so um, yeah, we have another role and we have another interaction model. Um, so I mean, it, it, I mean that, that statement says a lot about, I mean, the freshness we were just talking about and the ability to cache stuff, you know, where is that cache? Uh, for different, there's different places where caching makes sense, and that has a different impact on trust. And I mean, it's, a, it's actually a much more complicated issue. Yeah. Right. So. Uh, but there's, you know, there's an example I, of two two disjunct uh, domains that overlap with freshness or, or something like that. Yeah. You know, there are, there are dragons everywhere. So just take yeah. care. It is a very hard thing to write about because it's you have to you want to write about something concrete, and you know, there's so much variability yeah. that whatever you say when you kind of get concrete is different than some other you know, topology, if that's where we're using. Uh, Thomas Fossati is now becoming very, very, very adept at uh, creating SVG diagrams. Do we want to upgrade in the last second, maybe, all our 
S key art into SVG art. It's uh, there's also there's concept. also a thing called GOAT that will actually upgrade our ASCII. No, 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 no. I know, but I'm a saying there's SVG. also GOAT that will upgrade our diagrams sometimes and leave us with both the best of both worlds. But yeah, yeah, and there's AA SVG, which is way better than GOAT. As it's goat with all the goat problems and uh, sure. yeah. So so I would say, uh, Hank, uh, send pull request and let's consider it. Uh, but I don't okay. want to hang that, up that, on this. That, and that, I think that, that, we... not a stopper. It's not a it's not a review stopper. No, no, that's it's not a stopper. Very, and, I, yeah. and I so that's yeah. why I would say and 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 let's let's proceed on and and I don't think we're going to change any of the content of the diagram anyway. So if it looks nicer, let's great. Let's do the first work Google Plus call and then do yeah. it in that space. We're not doing the we're not stopping. Yeah, okay, maybe yeah. Uh, also, we, we, want we want to trigger well, reviews. We want to trigger the working the, group last call. You're, you're saying maybe during IETF last call or something. Because we already uh, did yeah, the Sorry, call. I was sorry. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do we want to uh, have more external review, or do we want to push this without other area director review? I, I think that's a question for Ned because that's the chair's decision. Oh, ah, that's all chairs. Yes. So that can relay this question. <laughs> say, say that again. Um, so, do we want any uh, area uh, reviews, like from SEC, I guess, maybe from from? We're yeah, going yeah, okay. I mean, to get the, we're going to get those reviews anyway, right? No. Once we get past. Not always. Once we get past. Uh, oh, good. Okay, because we are in security, we will be we will be, we will get will really get that SEC here. Okay, so so okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, I, I I'm just um, yeah, okay. Let's do it this way. It's it's a way late anyways. So, okay. Let's let's make Roman happy and then go to the next step. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was withdraw my my request in question. Okay, I have to run to another meeting. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, you all. I gotta, I gotta go too. I will post uh the seventeen as. Uh, in an hour or less, and um, answer, uh, write another reply to uh, Roman and say, I think we're done. Okay, Thanks, Michael. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, and we're not meeting next week.